So when I spoke to Natalie yesterday, she said that she was considering another couple. Yeah, but the fact she's agreed to come round and see you must be a good sign. Yeah, but she's still going to want to know why I've not been in touch recently. You know, back in the day, I said, screw it, let's not tell her, because once she's pregnant, that's it, done deal. But as you know, I'm a lot more sensible these days, so Nat needs to know the truth. Or you could just wait and see if she picks you first. It's not fair, though, is it? It's got to factor into her decision, so... It's just a risk we're going to have to take. Well, she came round when we told her about your past. And the fact that we're such a tight-knit family swung it for us that time, it will again. Yeah, but you were just defending Vic, and Lee attacks you first, so you're completely innocent. Exactly. That's why the police haven't come back to me. You don't know that they won't, though. Surely it'd be less stressful just to put the surrogacy on hold until the police investigation is over. What, on risk losing a surrogate? No way. Maybe we are being a bit naive. There's nothing wrong with a little optimism. Even if the worst happened, I wouldn't get long. I'd be out before the baby was born. It was self-defence. So when Lee comes round and wakes up, it'll be his word against ours. And we'll talk that round, just like we did before. Hi. <laughs> Don't worry, I've locked my mum in the pub cellar today, so your car keys will be safe. It's great to see you. Thanks for coming. Yeah, when I didn't hear from you, I, th I thought you might have changed your minds. And, well, like I said to Aaron, I have been considering other couples. Yeah, I'm sorry about the radio silence. We've had a, a few things going on. Yeah, um, and in the spirit of complete honesty, there's something you should know. Rob got in a scrap recently. And it was self-defence, but the other guy, Lee, um, he's in hospital. Is he going to be OK? Hopefully. Um, he's in a coma. Oh, my God, what did you do to him? It's nothing that bad. A coma sounds pretty bad to me. Right, I'm just going to come out and say it because you need to know why he hit him. Lee... Lee raped me, and he was goading us about it. And then he went for Robert, and Robert was just defending himself and me. Believe me, my brother's not a violent person. That's the only reason why you haven't heard from them, because they all need to look after me. I am so sorry about what happened to you. Thank you, but I'd hate to think that it's ruined their chances because it means the world to them, to all of us. Robert is a decent man. That's why I wanted to warn you about this, in spite of the fact that he hasn't... I'll get it. Even if the worst did happen, I've still got all this support. I know what a solid family you are. I've not been charged with anything. We reckon they'll just drop it. Hello, Robert. Lee Parsons woken up. And his version of events don't match yours. Sir Robert Sugden, I'm arresting you on suspicion of GBH. You do not have to say anything, but it may help me a defence if you do not mention, when questioned, something you later rely on in court. 